Welcome to Coolidge High School for DCIAA Championship Day. Well, on the women's side, it was a historic day as the team won for the fourth time in as many years. And on the men's side, it was some new blood hoisting the trophy. I'm Mark Cray. The Beltway Sports Report is next as we give away championships in the Inner High League. Woodson coach Frank Oliver Jr. preaches 32 minutes of pedal to the metal intensity each game. And after the first 16 of the DCIAA Girls Championship, it was all but over. The Lady Warriors clamped down on Dunbar with a stifling defense that kept them off the scoreboard for long stretches, which put the Crimson Tide in a hole and ultimately buried them. You know, we only know how to play one way, and that's, that's full speed. We want everybody to play hard, and we want us to, you know, we have a system. So we feel as if we can implement our system and impose our will on the other team. We'll have a successful outcome. A senior class who had never lost a title game played like they had for the last four years. MVP Carlita Green dropped 18 as she sizzled from the outside, while Bernika Pinkett added 17 more from the perimeter as catalyst to this lopsided victory. Junior Bernika Rance would set the tone for the next season's run with a game high 23 points as the Lady Warriors win by 61 to capture their fourth straight DCIAA championship. I can't say enough about our three seniors. Um, we've been fortunate and blessed to have three young ladies who come in, bought into the system, came in, worked hard, set a good example for the ones uh, coming behind them, and, and they gave it their heart. You know, to, to, to win four straight, that's not an easy feat. You know, and, and I take my hat off to them. They're very disciplined and dedicated young ladies, and they're going to be go very far in life because they also have high character. And we try to keep telling people we don't have a team. We have a program. We have a program. That means year in and year out, no matter who puts that jersey on, they're going to play the same way. So, and I think that's the biggest mistake people make. You know, when they look at us, they think it's a team. It's not a team. You know, we're going to continue to keep doing this year in and year out because it's a lifestyle for us. The boys' championship was decided by two teams from the DCIAA East. McKinley and Ballou had split earlier in the season, and the third time with a championship on the line was a classic rubber match. Hoping the third time was the charm for a championship, Ballou and McKinley were pumped headed into the primetime matchup. There were no secrets between these two division rivals who went right at each other all night in a classic that wasn't decided until late in the fourth quarter. Tied at 40 with five minutes to go, Ballou's Dante Thomas finds Marquise Gentry with a tasty dish for the flush, and they go up by two. Gentry would finish the contest with 14 points. Down the stretch, Thomas made all the key plays. When he wasn't setting up teammates, he was taking McKinley to school with a game-high 23 as they began to pull away. The Knights turning up the defense in crunch time with Thomas at the start, and he'd set up Gentry for another finish as they outscore the trainers 16-9 over the last 420. Ballou pulls out their first-ever DCIAA title by seven. Every time anything happens, it gets blown up in the news. It's so much positive things that happen in Baloo that needs to come to light. And right now, with our band, we're just going to represent the city as best as we can. For us just being here in a DCIAA high school championship with some guys that I graduated in ninth grade, won a championship. We right back here. Unfortunately, we didn't win it. But, I mean... I feel successful. History made here on Championship Saturday in the DCIAA, where for the first time the Black Knights of Baloo win the boys' championship. They face a tall order no matter who they play from the WCAC in the city title game. However, with 58 straight victories going in in city competition, the ladies from HD Woodson have more than a puncher's chance when they get to the phone booth. I'm Mark Gray for the Beltway Sports Report on Sports Groove TV. Now let's take you home with some of the flavor of Championship Saturday here at Coolidge High.